The search for answers continues. Police may have ended their search for Peter Rekia, but his family and friends are not giving up hope. We need to find uh, Peter. This weekend will mark one month since Peter, who suffers from mental illness, was last seen. But volunteers were back out Thursday morning, handing out flyers and talking with people in the area, looking for any new leads they could find. What are we here for? We need to have purpose. I feel like I have a strong identity of purpose. So I feel like that what keeps me grounded. The last known surveillance footage of Peter Recchia was from this very sidewalk taken from the cameras at this gas station. They're hoping other places nearby can check their surveillance footage to see if they have any sight of Peter on it. We are imploring the business. Uh, please take a little time. Uh, a little of your time and look to see if you can find a video uh, here in Fairhaven. Billboards have gone up across the state with Peter's picture on them. They want people to remember that face and be on the lookout for him. The wreck is a beautiful family from the bottom of my heart. And to see them hurting the way they're hurting, it hurts me because I'm, a, I'm an extended family. And the city of Bridgeport is an extended family. And the people of the city of state of Connecticut is an extended family. So we're, gonna, we're just going to get out and do what we need to do. And the search does not end here. Volunteers are expected to be back out canvassing the area over the next couple of days. They're asking for any help they can get to bring Peter home safely. In New Haven, Ashley Afonso, Fox 61 News.